Welcome to the One Choice for Your Store tutorial, customizing your Yahoo Store floating shopping cart. We're in the back end of our Yahoo Store and in video one we set up our floating cart manager and everything is set up and we clicked on save and preview which took us into the store editor and we set up our floating shopping cart and it works beautifully but it's really really ugly and it doesn't match our store at all. So I'm going to show you a very quick, simple and easy easy way to really make this match your store and this way you don't have to go back and forth back and forth back and forth so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to open up a notepad file if you don't have notepad you don't know where it's at open up Microsoft Word that will work just as well alright so here's what I want you to do I want you to pick out four colors from your store if you don't have four colors that's okay three will work just as much all right, now this is what we're going to do. Only you are going to see this, so don't worry about making mistakes or not making it look right. All right, what I want to do is I'm going to pick out the dark blue, the light blue, the dark gray, the light gray. Doesn't matter if it's exact. Remember, this is just for our notes, okay? So we got dark blue, light blue, dark gray, and light gray. Okay, these are four colors within our site. We also have link color and hover color and text color. This will make sense in a little bit. Alright, now that we have our four colors, we are going to decide how we're going to use those four colors in our floating shopping cart. Now, notice how we have a very light color border around the outside and then we're using the darker color on the inside for all of these different little headers. Well, let's go ahead and follow that trend. So for the light blue color, we're going to replace that yellow border. Okay, remember, this is all for our notes. Now the dark blue, we're going to replace the, the red. So let's go ahead and put in replace red. Okay, and now for the dark gray, uh, let's replace that with the orange checkout. Okay, and the light gray, let's replace this brown background with our light gray. Perfect. So here's what we're going to do to grab these colors and make a match within our floating shopping cart. We're going to click on variables and the third one down is text color. Okay, I want you to copy I want you to go over to your notepad file, go to text color, and I want you to paste. Okay, next I want you to go to link color and copy and paste. Now, I want you to go control F, which will bring a little find button here. All right, and I want you to type in hover. Okay. So this is a contents navigation background hover color, bullet, bullet, image, and then we have contents navigation text link hover color. That's the one we want. Okay, we're going to copy that. And for hover color, we're going to paste. Now what we need to do is we need to pick up the HTML color for dark blue, light blue, dark gray, and light gray. Now, I can see here that this is our light gray, so I can go ahead and just copy. And where it says light gray, I'm just going to go ahead and click paste and then put in a space. And this right here is our dark blue, so I'm going to copy and find my dark blue and paste and put in a space. Now let's find our light blue and our dark gray. Here's our dark gray copy and paste and let's find our light blue which I think might be a little bit up here there it is copy now these colors are going to be in different places depending on how your store colors are within your store so that's why I can't say go here to get this color go there to get that color it's going to be different for your store
All right, so now let's look at our page here and see what we have. We have the HTML color code, and then we have the dark blue replaces the red. HTML color code for light blue replaces the yellow, and so forth. We have link color, hover color, text color. Everything we need to get going. All right, now let's hit cancel. That was the hard part. The rest is really, really simple. Now let's click on manager, floating cart manager, visual customization. Okay, so basically here we've got primary font settings and you can also change from, um, again, look within your variables and see what type of font you're using. But um, for the font color, here is this one matches up for text color is 000, that's perfect. Um, for the emphasis font, we've got a red in here, which is basically that's used right here for the sale price, that's okay. The mini cart font, that is a black color. We want to change that to black. That was the going to replace that ugly brown that was on the top. So we're going to paste our color there. Um, we have the active link, so that's our link color. Copy and paste. Then we have our hover color, which is right below that. So we copy and paste. Okay. And notice how these change to match our colors. All right. Now we have this brown background. Remember that? Replace the brown background. That's right. Come over here. Copy that HTML color code. Paste. Now we've got this border in yellow, right? That ugly yellow color. Replace the yellow color with this color. Do you see now why we set up this file the way that we did? It's to make life so much easier. All right, so remember we were going to replace the red with the dark blue. Notice here you can change the font, the color, the text, everything that you want to do. I love this. It's so very simple. All right, the orange we were going to make into a dark gray. And again, make sure you're testing this. Test, 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 test. Make sure you're testing everything. Um, this may not stand out. This gray button for checkout may not stand out enough. We may need to make it red. We may need to upload a custom uh, button. Um, double check everything and make sure you're looking at everything. We may need a dark blue in there. Um, we don't know until we test and we look and we make sure that everything looks good. So that's why you just want to come in here, use these specific colors um, that we have from the store. That way it absolutely matches up, everything works perfectly, and you can go on. Now, here's some icon settings where you can upload a mini cart icon, um, an updating cart icon, remove item, expand section, collapse, all kinds of stuff that you can upload. And here's more helpful information here. And you can, if you're really familiar with CSS, you can just do a full custom CSS and upload your own. However, this was really simple and we were able to do it with no problem whatsoever. And as a matter of fact, we can see a little preview right here and see how nice that looks. Notice how we have the checkout here is in gray, but then our apply button is in the blue, and the apply button stands out much more than the checkout. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch the colors around and make the blue for the checkout and then the gray for the apply. So let's